Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news economic activity in China has perked up. But that trend is not evident in the West. But first, with the opening of Wall Street, trade propaganda is in full swing with the Americans claiming it will double US exports to China, but the Chinese are much more modest about how much they will import. Although Wall Street isn't buying into the Washington hype, it does see positives in the deal for a number of companies, and the S&P 500 is up 0.9% in midday trade. On the ground in the real economy, little has changed with the latest December PMIs unchanged at modest levels for both factories and services but at least they show small expansions. The latest regional Fed survey for the industrial northeast heartland paints a similar tame and minor expansion picture. The situation is, however, a little better in China, where industrial production was unexpectedly strong in November, up 6.2% from the same month a year ago and above the 5.6% average over the past year. Similarly, retail sales in November were strong, up 8%, and that was a at the expected level, but much higher than the levels for the past four months or so. And the Shanghai equities market followed up its big Friday jump with another 0.6% gain yesterday. For the two days, that's a 2.4% jump on the trade deal news. And still in China, new home prices grew at their slowest pace in nearly two years in November after regulatory tightening continued to cool their market. In Canada, their housing market is packing up again with sales volumes up more than 11% than in November 2018. Vancouver and Toronto lead the way. In Europe, their malaise continues with their December PMIs very lacklustre. In Australia, their federal government has blamed the effects of drought and bushfires and the weak momentum in the global economy for a revision that has knocked about $2 billion off their earlier $7 billion forecast surplus for this financial year. U.S. Treasury 10-year yield is now at 1.89%, and that's seven basis points higher than this time yesterday. Gold is at $1,474 an ounce, that's down $2 overnight. And U.S. oil prices are a little changed at just on $60 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is still at $65 a barrel. The Kiwi dollar will start today, little change at just under 66 U.S. cents. On the cross rates, we're softish at 95.8 Australian cents, and against the euro, we're little change at 59.2 euro cents. That puts our trade weighted index at just on 70.9. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.